According to Amazon, this is the world's smallest smartphone, the Soyuz, I think I'm saying that right, XS11. It is a two and a half inch smartphone, and in today's video, I'm going to open it up with you guys. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys that you can actually play Minecraft and Free Fire on this device, which is kind of crazy. I also put the Amazon link down in the description if you want to look at that as well. So here we go. This is it. This is the Soyuz XS11 mini smartphone. It comes with this very cute protective case. Unsure how protective it will be. And we're going to remove the film from the front and back. If we could get... There we go. Oh... Don't think that's glass, but it's okay. Let's take off this front portion. Oh, this is so satisfying. That seems to power on okay. It doesn't look too pixelated. Oh, I love the graphic. It's literally as long as my pinky. About two and a half inches long. It is so small. Cameras on the back look interesting. I don't know if all three of them are real. But here we go. Wow. I'm, I'm just surprised it's responsive to my finger. Let's test out this camera. Let's play it back. I got it. Hmm. Not bad. Well, uh, I think we're going to go deeper into this later. Let's go into the settings and look at the specs. Now, I don't know the carrier it runs on. I put my T-Mobile SIM card in here and it rejected it. So I need to look into that later. But uh, it runs Android 6. Let's go into the Android 6 game if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's where you tap this here a few times and have this little game pop up. <laughs> I suck at this game, but I always like to play it when I'm fidgeting around. Okay, back to this, um, has a security patch level of 2020, it's got one gigabyte of RAM, which is kind of lousy, but it's a two inch phone, so what the heck, who cares, right? So just looking at the storage of the device, it has eight gigabytes, I mean, it is what it is, but I'm curious to know if this could be a glorified flash drive. So. Let's put 256 gigabyte SD card into this thing and see if it accepts it. Preparing SD card. SD card is ready. It worked. I don't know about you, but I think that's kind of cool. Let's test the camera more. Testing the camera, testing the camera. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, cool. It also zooms. Let's play it back. Not bad. Now I'm going to show you guys gameplay of a few games, starting with Clash of Clans. <laughs> no way, this is awesome. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, not bad. Let's try Spotify. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Huh. Not bad, I guess. Let's try Free Fire. It takes a while to load, but once it's loaded, it looks like this. Seems to be pretty responsive, and my big fingers make it hard to control. I've also never played this game, but it seems pretty responsive. So, yeah. Let's try Mobile Legends. This tiny phone does take a while to load, but once it's loaded, it looks like this. The screen is small, my fingers are huge, and I don't recommend playing these types of games, but it works. Let's try Car X Drift Racing. Again, it takes a while to load, but once you're in the game, it's not so bad. You control the game by tilting your phone. Aside from me really sucking at this game, it's actually kind of fun. And lastly, Minecraft. This actually surprised me. Like the others, it took a while to load, but once you're playing, it actually works. Do I recommend buying this to play Minecraft? No, but 
it works. <laughs> my fingers are way, way too big for the screen. But, uh, and I also killed myself right here. But, yeah. Honestly, very surprised any of these games worked, and it was actually pretty impressive. Honestly, I don't have anything against this device if it's just to have a small phone to play simple games in your pocket. But looking into the description on Amazon, it runs 3G and I couldn't even make a call. But I will try with a different carrier and update at a later time. Now, this is another downside, is the texting. Anyone with a normal sized finger is going to struggle texting on this phone. Although I have figured it out, it does take practice and I'm gonna recommend everyone to just enable swipe because it is near impossible to text. The back cameras, these two are fake. This top one is real. The other two are just for looks. The charging port is micro USB and Bluetooth can actually connect to multiple devices. It does not have an aux port. It connected to my headset just fine. So we're good to go there. And I think you could connect multiple devices. Now for the conclusion and my final feedback on this device, I would not use this as a daily driver, obviously. So here's my verdict. If you're gonna use this as a daily driver smartphone, do not buy it for that purpose. If you want a cool mini smartphone that your kids can play with and have an awesome conversation starter in your pocket, then go buy this thing because it actually handles gameplay fairly semi-decent and it's just super cool. It's pretty amazing technology that for 57 bucks, you could download a few games, put it in your pocket and have some fun or use this as a glorified flash drive. So that is my two cents in review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you wanna buy it. The Amazon link is down in the description. Thanks so much for being here guys and we'll see you next time.